Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are headed out to my front porch. We're going to be giving it a little refresh for spring. I love doing this every single year. We have a white house, so it gets filthy. So first we're gonna go out and just clean everything off so we can start on a fresh surface. And then we are going to bring in beautiful pops of spring and really cozy elements for our front porch. This is the level of filth we are dealing with. So much dirt clings around every corner out here. and there there are a lot of little chalk stains on the pavers, so I just wanted to go in and give everything a really good scrub before I start decorating. I picked up two things to help me clean out here. One is a long handled scrub brush so I could reach up in the high corners of the windows and also really get in there and scrub the pavers without having to like bend down and kill my back. I also found a patio wash that attaches right to the hose and you just spray it down and let it sit. So this will really work. I'm hoping to break down any mildew or just stains where the dirt has been collecting. What I do is try to give you more than words What I say when I say I quit It's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places We can go to figure out What we've done, what we need, what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you The way you look at me is absent I filled my bucket with warm water and just a little bit of dish soap and went over everything with my scrub brush. And of course the day I decided to clean my porch ended up being one of the windiest days we've had in a while. So the spray was kind of getting all over the place, but I will say it was nice to have the breeze because it is already so hot and humid here in South Florida. Let me know if it feels like spring yet where you are. We are sort of in an endless summer always here, but the humidity this time of year really starts picking up. So I really wanted to have a nice shaded area here on the porch that is clean and comfortable because we spend a lot of time either on the rocking chairs, having coffee in the morning, or on the swing watching the kids play in the yard in the evening. So I'm really excited to give our porch this much needed refresh. Just say what, what's going on Don't waste your time being all alone Say what, say what you mean Say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need Get what you need What I do, what I do Is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit It's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places We can go to figure out what we've done we need what to do Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you Don't play me Cause you're pushing me away Don't say to me That we'll talk another day it was beyond satisfying seeing all of the dirt wash away when I rinsed everything off with the hose. Definitely worth the effort and it made me so excited and inspired to start bringing out all of my decorations. Won't be ringing anyway, that's how you roll, yeah. For my window boxes this year, I decided to go with these really pretty mint green plants called Dusty Miller. I used these as a filler in here last year with a whole bunch of flowers, and unfortunately, no matter what variety of flowers I put here, they didn't last long because I just think it gets too much direct sun, but these did really well, so I decided to just fill both window boxes with them since they are easy to care for and it seems like they like the amount of sun they get in this spot. I'm reusing a lot of staple pieces out here like my rocking chairs and this really heavy duty jute rug. It's so easy to clean and it's heavy enough so it doesn't blow all over the place on a windy day. 
I'm trying something new on my porch swing this year to give it a new look using rope. I'm weaving it between every third link in the chain. I've been wanting to just replace the chains with rope altogether, so until we can figure out how to do that, I thought this would just be an easy way to achieve a similar look. Balsam Hill reached out to me to share some pieces from their spring line and you all know how much I love my Christmas Balsam Hill decorations so I'm really excited to unbox their spring line and see what these pieces that I chose look like. For my porch, I chose the Outdoor Finial Boxwood Topiary, which also is battery powered so it lights up at night. And then I also picked two outdoor safe wildflower fields hanging baskets. I've always wanted to hang flower baskets on our porch, but I knew with the direct sun and the heat that the flowers would not last long. So I'm excited to get up some realistic faux looking flower baskets so I can get the same look with a lot less work. I'm adding a lot of basket texture to my porch this year, so I liked this handled basket for my topiary, and then I have this little table to set drinks on or whatever else we need, and then finally this really pretty battery-powered candle set. I'm using the same wreath from last year, which is actually two wreaths that I tied together just to give it a more full look. I think it complements my door and the colors of my new hanging baskets really well. Loving the look of black and white stripes with floral, so I found that in these doormats and I think they look so awesome here. Now I'm going in and adding that cozy feel by layering in pillows and adding a few more pieces of decor just to complete the look.
everything turned out so clean and colorful for spring, but also has a very comfortable and cozy vibe and will definitely be a place we will be spending a lot of time this season. And I wanted to show you the last item that I chose from the Balsam Hill Spring line. It is their Spring in Bloom Garland. The mix of florals and little pops of lemon is so stunning and I knew this would look perfect on my mantle for spring. I'm also planning to use this in my summer decor to go down the middle of our dining room table. You guys enjoyed today's spring front porch refresh I can see so many just lazy morning weekends out there with our coffees or evenings watching the kids play sitting in the rocking chairs and it's just great to give the area a nice clean and little decor refresh so I hope you got some ideas from today's video make sure you are subscribed if you are not already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye guys